This week on Scam School, we're back with hypnotist Chris Jones to learn the secrets of mind control. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Domain.com. Welcome to the show that knows what you're thinking because we told you what to think last week. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. Hello, beautiful folks. I'm Brian Brushwood, and this week we are back again with Chris Jones, hypnotist extraordinaire, as we dive in to find out what's behind all this psychology of influence and persuasion and telling people what it's mind control. Call it what it is. You cannot remember your own name. Sleep. This will not embarrass you. I'm Chris, your name of course is? That's good! That's great! Sleep. Sleep. You'll be safe, grab his legs. Oh yeah? We're gonna go play in the sand. Relax every muscle. Your kid in the snow, make some snow angels. Three, two, snow angels, big and happy. Happy little guy. <laughs> and in three numbers, you'll forget ever coming here. You'll have no idea how you got here. You don't even know how you got the jacket on. Wide awake. <laughs> Wait, where's your head at right now? What are you feeling? I don't even know how we got over here. All right, guys, I just had my mind blown by Chris Jones, hypnotist extraordinaire. We have Simona, we have Adam, we have Ricardo, and we have Natalia. Did I, did I get all of them? Okay, good, good, good. Chris, I want you to walk me through how what I just saw actually happens. So when I have a group like this, the more people we have you, the better. Yeah. Think of it as a magic trick. I would say pick a card, and if I don't get her card right, it's bad. Yeah. But if I say pick a card, pick a card, pick a card, pick a card, I have better chances of getting one of the cards right. First thing, they're all willing to try something. Don't know what it is, but I got consent. The mere fact that they said yes to trying this right. means that they're, they're already pre-selected. Pre right. yeah. And if I don't get her hypnotized, maybe him. Maybe right. I'll get that card for him. We start with a test to see who's most open. The old fashioned test is the hands together. So if you put your hands together for me, please, squeeze them together. I don't like this test because a lot of people do it. So if you extend your index fingers for me, please, you can say whatever you want about a magnet or a vice grip or a rubber band around your fingers. But I'm going to say your fingers are stuck together. They're magnets. Look at your fingers and separate them now. Watch your fingers get drawn back together. Tighter and tighter fingers are going to get pulled together as if they really truly are magnets. So I'm going to look and see who had the best response. And out of this group, it's fine, but I don't have anything. Right. So I need something else, another test. Everybody at home can try this right now, right. And, and your fingers will genuinely want to right. pull back together on their own. Exactly. So your body's mechanics say they want to be touching together. And in this case, we didn't have that, but you don't let them know it didn't work perfectly. You're like, that's right, that's exactly right. We're gonna try one more idea. And if you had your hands like this, right hand to fist, left hand palm up, I like this test a lot more. Imagine you're holding onto a string with a helium balloon, okay? It's floating. Your left hand, there's nothing there. You're gonna close your eyes. Close your eyes now, please. Imagine the balloon's gonna make your arm go higher towards the sky now. I'm just giving them a suggestion, telling them exactly what I want. Have the balloon make your arm go higher and higher. Your empty palm, there's nothing there. That's what you tell them. At this point, I have a little reaction from her, right, which is right. good. So I'm gonna add your other hand, there's something heavy in there. In your empty palm, there's now a brick and it weighs 10 pounds, so your palm gets more and more heavy. Two things are happening. This is an uncomfortable position, so yeah. your arm wants to drop. But I keep adding on with the session, in your palm, feel the weight now, feel the weight now, feel the weight now, feel the weight now, even heavier. The things you're combating will be the outside distractions. You're also combating uh, English being a second language, and you can open your eyes, good. This is about the hardest situation I could possibly imagine to hypnotize someone. You have distractions, you have noise, you have four people who are being told to be in a skeptical frame of mind, and yet, even in that situation, you can clearly see a right. difference right. Uh, of, of, of one side going So I'm gonna say, you're great, you're relaxing here, and you're great, you're relaxed right here, and you're great, and this would be probably my best bet for now. Right. And that's very okay. Have you ever been hypnotized before? Yeah. Now you two are dating, and then I would just do a placebo effect. We haven't set anything up. He is your boyfriend. He hasn't set anything up. In a moment, you're gonna feel a touch, friendly touch. Okay, don't worry. And <laughs> remember where you feel it. Remember how many times you feel it. So I might do this to you. That would be three. Mm -hmm. Remember how many times you feel it. Remember where you feel it, okay? Okay. But he's not pranking you. No one's pranking you. I'm gonna have you stand right here. But you have to close your eyes, please. All right? Mm -hmm. Don't peek. Don't move. Not peeking. 
Open your eyes. Yes or no, did you feel a touch? Yes. Where did you feel the touch? My back. How many times? Two. Great. Look at their faces. Good. <laughs> yes, look at your boyfriend's face. I will let you explain to her what just happened. He touched me. Where? In the shoulder. How many times? Twice. Right here in your back? Yeah. I didn't come close to her, did I? Not at all. That's called placebo. If I tell you something's gonna happen, but because you're dating each other, you have this weird connection to you. Look at that smile. This is great. I like it. You have given social proof as to what you're able to do. You've created a genuine mystery right. uh, between them that only enhances your status as the hypnotist. Right. That, that makes them more inclined to, to follow your instructions. We can go to the bar now. They're like, hey, I really want to see you do that again. I want to try this thing. I felt it, but now that I'm ready to try it now. Right. Then you got the success. It seems like uh, the job of the hypnotist is to create a framework that elicits a willingness to, to follow instruction. Literally, I'm gonna be a bartender for them. If they don't want the drink, I can't make them drink. Right. But I'm allowing you, here's a drink, you wanna take it. I trust this bartender. Right. But a lot of hypnotists come like with this magical persona, this godlike complex. Personal pain, I don't like that. Yeah. I don't want a bartender who has this god complex. For the folks who want to try something hands on right now, they wanna go out and right. see if they can just do, just get started. Best case scenario, You'd say, uh, for the first round of hypnosis, your hands are stuck together, cemented and glued. The next suggestion, if that's successful, same person, just you can't remember your name, or you can't talk at all. Right. Then the harder level will be hallucination. In a moment, you're gonna touch your beard, but you can't feel it. And then finally, the running around crazy stuff. In a moment, your nose, you're gonna find 112 degrees. You wanna run around, jump in the pool, and go swimming right now. Physical response, cognitive response, and then hallucination and pure hallucination. My buddy here, I see him with the, uh, the drink and the water. My prejudice says he's not gonna get drunk tonight, but I wanna see the person who has two drinks going for him and it's just like, I'll do anything. So, okay, so let's break down the tools of the hypnotist. The most powerful one is playing the odds and, and filtering. We got the odds, you're looking for success, and then you build on that success. And so you, uh, you continue in a series of increasingly bigger demonstrations uh, and I noticed also that it, there's a difference between how people react when it's one-on-one -on -one versus right. when there's a crowd watching and you have this social pressure exactly. to perform big. Right. Social compliance is huge. You'll see a stage hypnotist do an incredible show for 300, 400 people because yeah. everyone's expecting that to happen. You want it to work. But when you're doing it just for your own time's sake, you're like, eh, I kind of felt it. But the social influence is huge. I'll let them get out and I'll tell you the secret for the two people. In okay. Oh, okay. great, great, great. Hey, Brian, what's going on, man? You want something? I'm registering domains over at domain.com. Why? Because they're the best. Why? Because they're fast, easy, reliable. Why? Because they have .coms and .nets at reasonable prices. And if you use promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout, you get 15% off. Why? Because they love Scam School and they're super rad. Why? Because I provide good content every week. Is this so hard? I, what is going on? Why? Because I love teaching people scams and cons. Why don't I don't question your motive? Why do you edit? Why? I, I asked you. I asked you why. Dot com. What? That's the website I need. Why 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 dot com. What, what were you talking about? So if I wanted you right now and people at home to hypnotize someone, yeah, you best bet have someone who's already been hypnotized. So they know the process, they've right. been in that frame of mind, you're telling them to go back to a mental state right. that they've experienced. You do your car trick, you do your opener, you say, have you seen a hypnotist before? I've been hypnotized, how long ago was it? And then that's your foot in the door. You gotta put them in a safe position. You want them not to fall or hurt themselves, hurt you or hurt someone else. So it's best to have someone like sitting down okay. in a safe spot. Here. So Brian, you're literally going to hypnotize him. Oh geez, all right, all right. And because he was hypnotized before, he's programmed. We tried with the masses, we have our best person. The secret is repetitive sound, okay. telling them what you want, yeah. and then the nail on the head is saying sleep. Put a hand there if you would. Yeah, sure, sure. This is so they don't fall over. Heaven forbid he falls too fast, hits his knee. You don't want that. Got it. A lot of people it. do the speed inductions, and they'll just yank the arm. And then they go, I don't love that. Right. You could dislocate a shoulder or a wrist, something like that. A lot of things you need to be careful about when you're okay. starting out. I feel like I'm at such a huge disadvantage because so much of, of doing proper hypnosis is having a set script and a routine. Go backwards. You want this trick to work? Yeah. All right. So how does that happen? Okay. My end result is getting him in the sand. How do I get there? He's safe. Feet are planted. No big deal. I'm going to have you take a deep breath in. Let it out. Wonderful. 
Compliance is there. Another deep breath in. Allow your eyes to close. This is progressive muscle relaxation. We start from the top of the head, relax the top of the head, all the way down to your neck and your shoulders. And he's just remembering how good it felt. And everything I'm literally saying he can hear is a suggestion. Right. Remember how good it feels to relax, how good it feels to let go. And you can just say the word sleep. The clicking helps, everything <laughs> helps. And even if there's like laughter or music, it just helps your breathing to slow down. Notice your breathing is slowing down even more. I'm gonna say things that are happening naturally. The chin wants to drop, the breathing will slow down. When your eyes are closed, you're not visually distracted. Another thing that will happen, their eyes, rapid eye movement, they'll feel their eyes going back and forth. These are all natural things, and that's just encouraging you that you're doing the right thing. And now you add, whenever I say the word sleep, you're gonna go back into this state of relaxation. Every time I touch your hand, you're going to feel a wave of fatigue come over you. It's going to be like a slow paralysis that starts in your hand, works right up its arm, rolls across your chest, and it's as though your whole body has gone numb. You become jelly and you just want to, more than anything in the world to lay your head down. It's as though you've been up for 48 hours straight. In a moment, I'm gonna count to three. I want you to look up and I want you to feel entirely awake and alert. Introduce yourself to me until we shake hands. Nod your head if you understand. Excellent, ready? One, two, three, and wake. Feeling good, alert. Feeling yeah. good. Yeah. Awake, alert. Feel Excellent. Great. Hi there, I'm Brian. Hey. What is your name? Kyle. Kyle. How are you doing, Kyle? Good. Kyle, are you all right? I, I, you, you look a little, uh, uh, a little, a little wiped there. I'm this right. is his drink. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Allow your eyes to close and relax, and you will not drop it. Sleep. In a moment, you're going to take one more sip. You're going to down it. It is truth serum. Your girlfriend can ask you anything she wants, and you will tell the truth. Sleep all the way down. You won't have any control. You're going to say exactly, answer any question she wants you to answer. Deep breath in. Wide awake. Drink that down, please. Take that oh, all the way down. And that's together. the truth serum. Right, he's full of truth serum. Now's your chance. What are you going to ask him? How many girls have you kissed in your life? What? 15. 15 <laughs> girls? 15. And, and you're how old? 26. How, how, old were, how old were you when you kissed your first girl? I was, was in kindergarten. Oh my gosh. What's your girlfriend's best feature? Tell me. Boobs. <laughs> What's her second best feature? Face. <laughs> nice and offensive. <laughs> now the last thing with hypnosis, safety is very important. You yep. want to make sure they don't fall asleep. We don't do hypnosis on the radio because people can literally fall asleep while driving their cars. Right. Same thing with the TV. So you give the session that you're going to wake up, you'll be alert, refreshed, never embarrassed. The word sleep will no longer affect them. Got so it. So you unhypnotize okay. him. All right, here we go. Uh, Kyle, in just a moment, I'm going to count from three to one. When I do, I'm going to snap my fingers and at that moment, you're going to feel a wave of joy come over you. You're going to realize that you are no longer susceptible to any of my commands or any of my suggestions. You're going to be thrilled. You will not be embarrassed of anything you felt. You're going to feel refreshed. You're going to have an amazing time. And He's none of these suggestions. And you love making out with your girlfriend. You love making out with your girlfriend. You will immediately treat her to an amazing night out. Nod your head if you understand, Kyle. All right, from now on, the word sleep does not affect you. Three, you're waking up from a deep, deep slumber. Two, the sun is shining. It's a new day. One, and awake, refreshed. Oh, How you feeling, Kyle? Yeah, I feel good. Dude, you feel ready good. for a night out with your missus? Feel, I'm, All right, missus, I'm sorry, you're, you're girlfriend. You got upgraded. He's already cradling already, in the face. Already, <laughs> He's already. already just oh, buckle up. Feeling the deal right there. How you, you guys, feel, boss? I'm feeling, I'm feeling Great. Dude, Feeling well, thank you guys great. so much. That was yeah, thank you. Let me buy you guys drinks. Thank Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. That, was that was awesome. <laughs> that was freaking epic. Uh, where can people get more of your lovely, lovely face? Uh, Facebook, Chris Jones, or one word, Chris Jones, Twitter, Instagram. Dude, I owe you a beer. Let's get to drinking. Let's get to Let's drinking. do hypnosis the old-fashioned way with fermentation. <laughs> That's how I roll. First and foremost, we gotta give a huge thanks to Chris Jones for slumming with us. Make sure to follow his Instagram, his Twitter, his Facebook, all of that stuff. And why don't we be best friends? Hit me up at twitter.com slash wood. Now don't forget to join us next week because we are issuing our first ever Scam School Recall. If someone sold you something called Scam School brand novelty cotton candy, don't eat it. It's fiberglass. That, uh, and we had nothing to do with it. It was, uh, it was a cheap, cheap knockoff, cheap knockoff. This week on Scams. <laughs> Just a minute. I'm in a trash can. It's a. I mean, I mean, there's there's some cool shit in here. I'm not gonna lie. If you buy an extreme, you get a shotgun camera. That's a $300 value. You wanna make out? Uh, dude, no, that was great. You, <laughs> you wanna, wanna make, make out? out? What? What? You, you can make out, she's yours. You <laughs> own it. I mean, I mean. Hey, Brushwood, what's going on? I am registering a domain at domain.com. Can what? I get you something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, ready. 
Brian Brushwood. What Brian's you... Apocalypse. What can I do for you? <laughs> yeah, right. No, it's good.